Hey there everyone, I'm Deb from Cooking with Mo and Deb. I am making a dish tonight that is from the pork roast that I made the other day. Uh, I told you I was gonna make two things from that pork roast. It was a, a roast that I paid $5.62 for it. I cooked it in the oven for about four to five hours. I think it was four hours. And uh, I have posted it for you, so you've got the recipe to eat. And I've made, uh, I'm making two meals off of that roast. The first one was barbecue. I just added barbecue sauce to the pork after I had shredded it and uh, we served it on hamburger buns with some french fries. You could put that on top of baked potatoes if you wanted to. That would have been another meal that you could have with it if you have enough. But today I'm making uh, my second meal. And this one is nachos. This is uh, a pork nachos. So nachos, you know, you can make nachos so many different ways. Um, beef nachos, pork nachos, veggie nachos, so many different things. But this tonight I'm making is pork nachos. So I'm going to turn the camera down and you can see the pork that I've got in my skillet. So I've already added the skillet, uh, the pork to the skillet. It's two, about two cups of pork. I've got my eye on and I'm gonna just add a couple of ingredients. I've got a can of black beans. I've already drained them and rinsed them. I'm going to add some hot sauce. You can add as much or as little hot sauce as you want. It's, it's just depends on how hot you want it. And it's a whole lot easier to go light than heavy. Um, so try a little, if taste it. If you feel like it needs more, then add some more. Of course, you can't take it out once you put it in, so make sure. <laughs> and then I'm adding some cumin to this. And we're gonna stir this up. That's probably a, about a teaspoon of cumin. We're gonna stir this and let it cook. And just all I'm really doing here is getting it heated through, warmed up a little bit so I can add it to the top of my chips that I'm gonna put in the pan. I'm going to also shred some cheese. You could do whatever kind of cheese you you want to use. The recipe calls for Monterey Jack, but I think I have cheddar and maybe some pepper jack. I will see, I might do pepper jack. But we're gonna cook this for a few minutes and while it's cooking, I am going to get together some more ingredients and I'm gonna make a little bit of salsa. If you, if you don't wanna make the salsa, you could use the, the purchased salsa that or store-bought salsa that works. I'm going to get together a few more ingredients so I can put together the pork nachos and I'll be right back to show you how it works. Alrighty, my pork and bean mixture is done, all heated through and ready to go on my pork nachos. So I'm ready to make some salsa, just a really quick salsa. So all I have in mind is tomatoes. I just chopped up some uh, Roma tomatoes. I like using Romas because they are meatier. Um, I take a couple of small Roma tomatoes and get some really good chunky salsa. I didn't have a fresh jalapeno, but I've got some jarred jalapeno, so chopped up some of those, and a whole bunch of purple onions. We like a lot of purple onions in ours. And then I've got some uh, lime juice. If you have a fresh lime, definitely use your fresh lime. And I want to put some salt in this. Add salt. Okay, and then we're just going to toss this together. And this is our um, salsa that I'm going to add with the nachos. I've also already chopped up a um, uh, uh, two avocados. I've chopped that up and put a little bit of lime juice on it to help them stay pretty and green until I finish, till it comes out of the oven. You don't want to put your avocado on until it comes out of the oven. And I chopped, uh, shredded up some cheese. I've got some uh, pepper jack and I've got cheddar cheese. Uh, two kinds of cheese that I'm going to use on my nachos. And I've got my chips. So this is a one pan meal, a sheet pan meal. So I layered, I put one layer of chips out on my sheet pan. 
So now let's <clears throat> sprinkle around some of the pork that we made. This was from that pap paprika pork that I made in the oven. Turned out so good and so tender. And this is my second meal that I'm making from that pork shoulder. And I've got a lot of barbecue. I really probably could have used a little less than two, I said barbecue, I meant uh, pork. I probably could have used a little less than two cups for this dish. And it kind of depends on your family. If you're cooking for a large crowd, you're gonna need at least two cups. Um, my, my crowd's a little smaller, so I probably could have gone with a little bit less. Um, and sometimes I like to pile up nachos. I wanted this to be all one level so we can just get one nacho out and, uh, and eat it. So you can do it however you like, but um, sometimes I'll pile up a whole bunch of nachos. I mean, sorry, uh, chi the chips, a whole bunch of chips. This smells so good and I know it's going to taste wonderful. It's got everything on it that we like, so we're going to love it. <laughs> but I'm trying to make sure I have a good, good amount of pork and beans on every chip, which I think I've about got that. Let's put a little more right here and right there. A little more on this chip. So there's a little leftover. I think that's all I'm gonna do. And now I'm gonna spread around my salsa. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just kind of go spread, spread it around a little bit. If you would rather use jarred salsa, you definitely could do that. And that would cut down a little bit of your prep time and be a little bit quicker because you wouldn't have to take the time to chop up the onions and stuff. But we really like onions with our um, Mexican food. So I think we're gonna enjoy this a lot. Uh, if you like olives, you could probably put olives on here. If you like more jalapenos, you could do that. Make it the way you like it. I used to have to go exactly by every recipe, but I have kind of got out of that. A lot of times I just make things the way I like them. Mostly when I'm baking, I make sure to go exactly by the recipe, but when I'm doing things like this, I think I can divert a little bit from the recipe if I wanted to. <laughs> okay, time for cheese. Let's spread on some cheese. The pepper jack, and um, the recipe actually says Monterey Jack. <clears throat> so that would work perfectly. We have Monterey Jack, I didn't have it tonight. So I didn't want to go to the store again, so I'm using what I have. And I think pepper jack is a great substitute it will, for this dish. And some cheddar cheese on it also. Whew, man, this looks good. I think it is gonna be so, so tasty. The oven is heating at 450 degrees. Um, it, you really only gotta put this in long enough for the cheese to melt. There we go, it's all ready. Can you see? Doesn't that look good? So there is pork nachos, sheet pan nachos, one, one pan dish. So this is going into the oven. I will show you a picture of it when it's finished. And I'm sure this is going to be devoured in my house and I bet it will be in yours too. See y'all later.